Hey, welcome to Big Lou Barbecue and other things I want to do. And today it's something my son wants me to do. He wants me to fry a turkey. See, he's 14 years old and he's never seen me fry a turkey. Between about 1995 and 2006, I used to fry a lot of turkeys. I'd eight a year at least. And that's pretty much just for my family and I'd give a few away to people. All right, but I used to fry them a lot, get my use out of the oil. I'd fry maybe two or three at Thanksgiving, two or three more at Christmas, maybe even four more at Christmas, maybe one on New Year's and maybe one, uh, by Easter and just keep the oil and throw it away after Easter. But I tried to get about eight turkeys in a year saving the oil, all right? But when he was an infant, I started smoking them. I built my own smoker in 2005. And by that time I was preferring smoked turkeys and all he's ever seen me do is smoke turkeys. He says, dad, can you fry one? So I went up to the attic and I got my turkey frying equipment out and um, frying a turkey today. All right, so why fry? There's some disadvantages to frying. One, a lot of people say, it's dangerous. 4,300 people or something like that burn their house down. That's because they're drunk. Stay sober. Number two, be smart. Make sure the turkey's dry. Make sure the turkey's not frozen. I'm sorry, I just bumped the tripod. Make sure the turkey's not frozen. Make sure the turkey is dry. Make sure that you lower it in slowly. You don't just pop. All right, if you do, oil's gonna come out all over the propane thing. Now you got a lot of safety things too, like, you know, electric turkey fryers and stuff like this where you can fry them inside. Those are boring. Get you a propane cooker, cook with that propane gas. I mean, you know, propane gas, but you know, I don't use it so little on my show. I call it propane gas, right? And uh, have fun with it, all right? We're gonna put about four gallons of oil or so in that pot, however much that pot holds. And uh, you can hear it hissing in the background, all right? And um, we're gonna drop a whole turkey in there. What we're gonna use is Dr. Doors, a turkey and poultry seasoning. And I've got the turkey all seasoned up. And as soon as that oil gets to 350, we're dropping it in there. Let me show you how we made the injectable marinade. Let me show you how we season it with the Dr. Doors. Say it like this, Dr. Doors. I like to say it like that. All right, fried a turkey today on Big Lou Barbecue. Fried turkey. I hadn't fried one in 14 years. I'm actually kind of excited about it. Okay, in this pot, I've got a cup of some homemade turkey stock. If you don't have homemade turkey stock and you don't want to make any, you can use chicken broth, store-bought chicken broth if you want. And um, what I'm going to do is add about a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon, and yeah, a heaping teaspoon will be enough of the Dr. Doors turkey and poultry seasoning. All right, and I've got half a stick of butter. So a cup of turkey broth and a half a stick of butter and a teaspoon of that, a heaping teaspoon of that. All right, gonna bring it to a boil. I'm also gonna add a few dashes of a pepper vinegar. If you wanted to add a lemon juice or something like that, that's fine, but I'm gonna add a few dashes of Tabasco Trappies Tabasco pepper vinegar, hot pepper vinegar, all right? Just a few dashes, all right? And that is going to be our injectable marinade. We're gonna bring it to a boil, let that butter melt in it. All right, it's come to a boil. The butter has melted, everything is mixed through. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off, prepare the bird, and uh, we'll inject it in the bird here in just a few minutes. All right. If you haven't fried a turkey before in your pot and you're not familiar with it, you need to measure the water level. If you do it a lot, like I used to do, you kind of get used to where the water level is. And I know that my water level is going to be about right about here, or my oil level will be right about there. But what I do is I just take the turkey before I unwrap it, and I know it's gonna sit up on the rack, which will be about an inch off the bottom. So I just go to about the label and uh, fill it up with water, and I know that that's how much oil I need in there. So I'll fill it up, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right. So I've got the turkey in here to the bottom and it's just about to where the tag is. And I know that when it's on the stand, that'll be enough oil because um, I've got it covered, you know, and I got a rather short stand. It really sits up a little more than an inch off the bottom. So anyway, um, I know that's about the water level I need. So what I do is I pull the turkey out and where the water goes down to, that's what I'm gonna mark. I'm gonna let it quit bouncing around. I'm gonna take my Sharpie and I'm gonna mark it right there. Line right above the water level. If I put it at the water level, the Sharpie gets wet and it doesn't show a line. So just maybe an eighth of an inch above the water level. And that's where I'm gonna fill the oil up to. All right, so here's the turkey. Now I cut off the last part over the fence. 
pulled the neck out from the cavity. I'm gonna boil that and make more turkey stock. And that and the leftover turkey stock I have from the other day is gonna make a turkey pot pie with the leftovers from this fried turkey uh, tomorrow or the next day or whatever. But I'm gonna use this fried turkey to make a turkey pot pie with. Here's the uh, giblets. Make sure you're, they're always in the back of a turkey. Make sure you remove those. I was at somebody's house one time and they did not remove this before frying them. Uh, make sure you remove that before you drop it in the oil. All right, it's usually tucked right in here. Now, this next flap right here, a lot of people cut that off when they fry. I like to leave it on. It gets real, real crispy, and it's a nice little treat, kind of like chicken cracklings, turkey cracklings. Uh, I love that part, and I leave that on, but I do fold it up. Don't let it dangle down too much, all right? Now, this is real important, and uh, this is important. A lot of them will have a plastic uh, thing right here to keep the bird trussed. You can bake with that, but don't fry with that plastic thing. If it's a wire one, yeah, you can use it, but I don't like to do that. This brand uses a skin flap and you just tuck it under, you tuck the, when you truss it, you tuck it under here so I don't have to tie it up or anything. The wings hang a little free, but that's okay. They get real crispy in the oil. Now, this is the important part. Get you some paper towels, all right? I've been balling these up while talking to you, but they were clean. Get you some paper towels. I hadn't put gloves on yet. I probably should. And, um, just pat this thing dry inside out bottom side top side all over it pat it dry you do not want a damp wet turkey going into the oil so i'll be back once this is dried all right i got it dried i'm gonna have to pat it dry a little bit because some of this injection is gonna come out now i took that injection i poured it in this little cup and we're just going to uh draw it into the syringe i do kind of need to set it over here and use two hands to draw it just like that in the syringe. Now I like to go with one hole, but several places. So I go in here and I squirt a little bit. And then I take it and I go that way and squirt a little bit. And I take it and I go that way and squirt a little bit. And I take it and I go this way. Now this has cooled a little bit, but it's still a little warm so that the uh, butter does not uh, freeze up. You know, uh, con what do you call it? Congeal again, okay? But it will, once it's in that cold turkey, it'll start to do that. Now see, when it leaks out, I pat that dry. I'm gonna do the other breast the same way. All right, I've injected this breast too. There's the injection point. You wanna get the legs. I go in like this way through the legs. One, two, and three, three directions in there. And uh, I got a little bit here, so we'll just shoot that into the wing, all right? All right. That side's done. We do have to do the thighs as well. All right, I've done the uh, left side leg and left side wing. Now we're gonna do the thighs. I go right in through here to do the thighs, but you can go through the skin if you want to. Here's the thigh part. And I just go right in through here, find a little place between the bones, and I just shoot it up like that, all right? Right through, right, right through there. That's where I go to get the thigh. And this kind of, you know, three different directions. I'm gonna do the other thigh the same way. All right, now right back here at the base of the, at the drumette part of the wing, I like to go under the flap, take it like that, under the flap, and I go right in here. That way I'm not puncturing the skin with it, and I get a little injection right there in three directions again, and I'm gonna do the same on this side. All right, I've dried it off again since we injected it, and it's time to apply the Dr. Doors uh, turkey and poultry seasoning. All right, this stuff is really, really good, and I've done it on a smoked turkey before, and I bet it's gonna be delicious on this fried turkey. Uh, what I have done, though, is taken this stuff out of the package, uh, some of it, and I've put it into this sh empty shaker jar because this will allow me to distribute it a little evenly than shaking it out of the little Ziploc package that it comes in. All right, um, what I do is I go ahead and turn it over, and as you can see, it may be still be a little damp on the bottom side, but Try and turn it over one hand so I can keep one gloved hand. Yeah, see, I need to pat that dry. Be right back. All right, I've patted that side dry. Now you want to get this all under there. Get it, you know, under the armpits too because, you know, it needs to smell nice like putting on deodorant. All right? And uh, I stretch those wings out and get it all on that wing flap. Uh, that'll be good because these wings are going to kind of flop free. I'm not going to trust those. And uh, they will get real crisp and real nice in this fried, uh, with this fried turkey. And so we just sprinkle this somewhat evenly, try not to be too splotchy with it, all right? And um, get it all over the side. This part right here, that flap, you wanna get, you wanna get that done on both sides because you want that to get crispy. Then take it up 
And Dr. Dore told me to make sure I get some under the skin. So we're going to put some in there under the skin. Okay. Get it all in there like that. And that's going to be good. Now I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to dry this part again and we will touch. All right. Once again, I dried the top of it some more and now we're just going to sprinkle this on, get somewhat of an even coat everywhere on the legs, under the armpits. Well, I guess that's the armpits. That's the, uh, yeah, you know, that's his growing area, isn't it? All right, get it under there, too. That's got to smell good, too. All right, tastes good, whatever you want to say. All right, I know. It's a turkey, though. I ain't talking ugly. All right. There you go. And get it all inside the cavity. All inside that cavity. All right, get it all in there. And if the skin's open like that, get it under the skin. You see that? Get it under the skin. All right, skin's open like this right here. Now it's not open quite as much, but I can kind of get it with my fingers. Get it under the skin there too. All right, now you want to make sure you pull that skin back over the top. Get it over that. All right, it is time to set this bird on the rack. What I do is I'll lift up this flap, go right in through the neck, just like that, and set it on the rack. Now this has got to come up over it, like that. If you don't have one that's got the skin to truss it, I've got the, didn't put a glove on that hand, deal with it. All right, and we're gonna go right here with the uh, legs tucked under like that. All right, because the legs do kind of burn, and that's how it's gonna go into the thing. I wanna touch up the seasoning in areas where it got, you know, a little uh, off of there, and uh, we're gonna set it on the fryer, just like that. Let's get that grease ready. All right, I got the oil filled to the line right there where we marked it with the water. And now I just got to turn the propane on. Now I don't have one of these fancy new propane cookers with the automatic start and the automatic shut off and the safety features and all that stuff. Oh no, this is the kind over there where I light a Zippo, hold my fingers under there, turn the gas on and try to get my Zippo out before I singe all my knuckle hair off. Um, I'll spare you that part. All right, it's when approaching 350, it's time to do this, all right? Now look, here's a piece of advice. Don't do this in flops. It's just dangerous to do it in flops, all right? So do as I say, not as I do. Remember, I'm an untrained amateur. Now, the temperature is going to drop way down once I put this bird in here, all right? But let's go ahead and get it lowered in. Here's the fun part. Remember I told you it's fun? All right, now you want to lower it in a little at a time, about an inch or two. Like that. Then you go down a little more, like that. This is in real time, I'm not editing this part, all right? Then you go down a little more, like that. Let it start to boil up through the cavity there. Then we're gonna go ahead and lower it all the way down in there like that. Bubble, 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 and we frying a turkey. All right, while this turkey cooks, let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of frying a turkey. All right, the number one biggest disadvantage to frying a turkey is the cost. It is not cost efficient. You have to buy the oil. Now, if you're frying a bunch of turkeys and you're selling them, you can make up that cost. Okay, big disadvantage. Second disadvantage, it can be dangerous. Yeah, a lot of people burn their house down. Don't do it in your carport. Don't do it under your patio. Don't do it on your porch. Do it out in the yard and be sober. Be sober, all right? I mean, that's the biggest advice I can tell you. Don't do stupid stuff, all right? Don't plop it in there. Woo! It's gonna go an oil volcano, man. I'm sorry, I keep bumping the tripod. I'll try to avoid that. Um, don't do that, all right? Uh, just, you don't have to be super precautious, but use common sense, all right? And you can fry the turkey. Make sure it is dry. Make sure it is not frozen, all right? You do not want that five, four, three gallons of oil, however much you got in your thing, boiling over onto that propane cooker and starting a huge flame, all right? You're not gonna be able to reach over and turn that propane off and you got that propane going and you got that oil burning and that's, that, that would be nasty. Just be commonsensical, all right? So that's your disadvantage. It could be dangerous, all right? Uh, but the biggest disadvantage to frying a turkey is simply the cost. 
Let's talk about the advantages. One, it's quick. It is quick, all right? Three and a half minutes a pound. I'm frying a 14.65 bird. I multiply that times three and a half. That's 51.275. You round up to the next minute. That's 52 minutes. All right, 52 minutes and my bird's gonna be done. How are you gonna cook a turkey in an hour? Two, the skin gets real crispy. Three, the meat stays real juicy. Four, they're delicious. They're not smoked, but they're delicious. All right, so frying a turkey is delicious. Everybody likes it. Second advantage to frying a turkey. You remember when I talked about it being dangerous? Danger equals fun. Uh-huh, that's why people do things. You know, why do people bungee jump? Because it's fun. It wouldn't be fun if it wasn't dangerous. If bungee jumping was boring, nobody would do it, right? So because turkey frying can be dangerous, turkey frying is fun. It's a lot of fun to lower a 15 pound bird into five gallons of hot boiling oil. Frying a turkey's fun, all right? That's a huge advantage to it. It's kind of showy too. If you got people over there, everybody likes to watch the bird go in the oil. Shh. Wondering if it's going to volcano up into an eruption, all right? Now, the last advantage of it is fried turkeys are delicious. They're always moist, they're always juicy, and especially if you inject them. Two, you don't have to brine them, just inject them and they're going to be delicious. So fried turkeys, there's a lot of advantages to it. There's some disadvantages to it. And we're frying a turkey. I haven't done one on my show, been four years. Have not fried a turkey. I hadn't fried a turkey in 14 or 15 years. So anyway, I used to do it all the time. It's easy and I'm looking forward to doing it now cause it's fun. Okay, the temperature's gotten to 350, so what we do now is we back it down. Back the fire down a little bit to maintain that 350. Well, a little rain drizzle started. You don't want to cook this covered, so I had to come up with a plan to keep the rain out of it. Big paella pan and two sawhorses. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's me thinking, using my noodle. All right, what I'm gonna do is set it on this uh, cardboard uh, drink carrier when you buy a case of you know, cold drinks or whatever. 24 pack, you get these things. And I just set it on there and let the grease drip onto the cardboard and then I just throw it away. Easy, clean up. I'm gonna put this over here on the table so when I pull it out, I'm just gonna swing it around and set it in this thing. All right, my timer has gone off. Time to pull this out of here. They do get dark, but that meat is not burned. Let it drain, let it drain, let it drain. And plus, I got my temperature a little too high, too, while it was under that cover. It got a little higher than I wanted it to, up to about 375. I wanted to keep it at 350. But that part right there is going to be crispy. And that part right under there, that tail part, that's going to be crispy. I'm going to set it over here in this cardboard thing. Now, I want to tell you how you can spare your oil, all right? <coughs> Fry some potatoes in it, all right? Because that oil is kind of dirty. And if you fry some potatoes, it does something to help clean it up. So we're just gonna drop these fries all in there like that and fry up some waffle fries to go with this turkey. All right, well, there she is, fried bird with the doctor doors on there. I did get that oil a little too hot because I wasn't watching the thermometer while we had the drizzling because I had it covered a little bit up to about 375 or so. But you know what? That skin's crispy. I mean, you could just tap it. It's crispy, you see that? And it's going to be so delicious. They do get a little dark when you fry them, the skin does, but um, I tell you what, that meat inside there is just gonna be wonderful and juicy. So we're gonna bring it in and uh, we'll start to carve it up and do a taste test. All right, fried turkey and waffle fries. Let's get it carved up and taste test. Here it is. Turn it around so you can see. Looks like that, that crispy part right back there. That's gonna be delicious. All right, that's the other side. It did get a little darker. I tell you, I had it at 350 for the first 40 minutes of this 52 minute cook. I did have it under that little shield from the drizzle. It wasn't raining hard. And uh, I forgot to check at the last 12 minutes and it creeped up a little closer to 400. That might explain a little bit of the darkness, but I tell you what, it's not burned. It's going to be juicy. You fry a turkey, it's going to be juicy. It's one of the big advantages of frying an entire turkey like this. So here's all I'm gonna do is I just, Take it from this side and I twist it a little bit. Push that, that fried on there. You see how crispy I told you that part gets? That's why I leave it on there, man. That's just a, that's just a blessing right there. All right, now, pull this out just like that. 
all that. Eli, try that right there. Try that right there. Hannah, try this right here. That little bit of, little bit of skin that gets crispy right there. Mm -hmm. Too burned for you? No, sir. How about that? Your mama used to like that part too. She, that was her favorite part. Whether I smoked it or fried it, she claimed the skin on the end. Mm. Mm. That's pretty good. That's delicious. All right, let's carve this up. All right, let's take off the wing. Look at that. Look at that. You don't believe that's done? You don't believe that's juicy? Mm. It's falling apart. This part right here, if you get this brand with the uh, skin cut like that, you don't have to spend money on trussing it. And that skin is good too, right there. Right there over the thing. Mm -hmm. That part right there. That's like a turkey crackling. Mm. Good. Look at that. You see how easy it came apart? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. Juicy from that marinade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's falling apart. I got to cut it in the right place. It's falling apart. Look at that. All right, let's cut this breast meat, and we're going to do a taste test. I'm going to feed these hungry uh, teenagers. All right, look at that. Look at that right there. Look at that, how delicious that is. All done. Here, Eli, you want some? Yes, sir. With the skin? I'm going to give you that big old piece right there. Hannah, you want some with the skin? Yes. All right, I don't have the skin on it. Let me get you this part right here with the skin on it, okay? Right there. Ooh, wow. That's a big old piece. Well, excuse me for eating with my fingers, but man, it's been too long, 14 years since I fried a turkey, and my son is loving it. He said, Dad, you gotta do this more often. You gotta do it more often. It doesn't have that smoked flavor that I like so much at a smoked turkey. A fried turkey, that's something to say about it. Mm. So why should you fry a turkey? I got three F words for you. Fast, fun, and fabulous. Woo! Hey, I wanna thank Dr. Dore for sending me the rubs, and uh, that turkey rub is delicious. The injection we made, you can certainly taste it. Taste that Dr. Doors in the injection uh, with the homemade turkey stock and that pepper vinegar. Man, that is some fine, fine turkey. Mmm, gosh. All right, I'm gonna save that oil. I'm gonna fry another one next month, Christmas time. Thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue.